irgendwann fangen die halt alle an. The Ground Pass is part of soccer training. It is important to discuss criteria for practices among coaches of children's and youth teams. At this point, the ground pass is under investigation. For under six through under eight teams, the ball is at the center of all activities. There I see a ball, I kick it, I pass it, I shoot it. There is the ball, my toy. For children, it is the most important item in soccer. It is too bad when under seven kids have to run laps. Why not do something with the ball? We don't have to kick it all the time. The kids could throw it for a change. But the ball should always be part of it. It is the magic thing for kids that age. And why is it that we've assembled here? Isn't it the ball that fascinates us too? As coaches, we introduce a system into our practices, carry out all kinds of passing and shooting drills, but the game itself should never be forgotten. And you know from experience that among the players in under six to under eight teams, you can point out the player who's already better than the others. And why is this one already better than the others? Because he can see the space around him better than the others. Because technically, these kids are more or less at the same level, but they see space differently. I find that interesting, and the coach doesn't have to interfere here. And I'm always in favor of letting these kids dribble. They don't have to play the pass all the time. They do that anyway when they get tired. The ball is key. The next phase is being in the under 9 to under 14 age group, that is the golden learning age. The ball for these youth players is still the main thing. We have the ball and our objective is to win the game. Or we want to do a really good wall pass. The ball is always there and we use it in various ways. But now it is also a matter of how I collaborate with my teammates. Of course, the one versus one remains important and you can show your dribbling skills. But now group tactics come into play as well. Under 12 through under 14 players are always being scouted by big clubs. And what are these scouts looking for? They want to see which kid plays more intelligently than the others. Is he more conscious of space? Can he apply the right pace to the ball? Does his technique allow him to play with both feet? And can he combine well with his teammates? At this stage, it's not just a matter of delivering the pass well. I want to send the ball with a message. Also, da den Ball nicht mehr nur sehen als, ja, ich schieße den Ball irgendwie. Jetzt habe ich eine Botschaft auch mit den Spielern. And those of you working with under 12 through under 14 teams know that they are mentally quick, not just with their iPhones, but also on the soccer field. But you have to challenge them. And they want to be challenged. Four versus four. Perfect for players this age. And the coach can easily say, play one touch now. These players have a good idea whether things are working well. The ball is everything. We'll now show you a clip from our DVD, Development of Game Intelligence. In our game, Assembly Line Goals, it is important that the goal scorer play the ball right away to an open teammate at midfield. The team defending can do so only outside the six-yard shooting zone. The small advantage should be exploited by the attacking team for occupying free spaces in midfield. The team that scores more consecutive goals is the winner. In order to keep the ball and to score many goals, game intelligence is required. Being conscious of space, that's available, clever runs to get open and accurate passing are as important as game intelligence. Precious time should not be wasted with unnecessary dribblings. Your teammates are on the move to open spaces on the opposite side. White is on the attack and tries to set up one of the goals they attack. The team in red is defending the goal on the right-hand side. White changes quickly towards the goal on the left. Before Red recognizes the danger and gets organized, White plays a quick pass to the other side and the next goal comes easy. Well, we just saw transitional play, ground passes, dribblings. 
And we saw Ozil when he was a bit younger, as an under-19 player. Even then, he was an uncomfortable opponent. He reacted very quickly to situations and was able to play that pass into the gap. Under 15 through under 19. The game now becomes the end and the means. Now the game gets interesting. And that's why we coaches let them play a lot of small-sided and positional games. The game is the end now, so we're all concentrating on the game. But even the game is a means now to play successfully. To play successfully means to win. With the other age groups, we saw a lot of vertical play. I want to go forward. When you watch an under-17 game, everything is ball-oriented, and there is only one direction, forward. And then space left and right is discovered, and passing and trapping becomes important. The coach has to coach space more as well as technique, tiki-taka. Amateur players, professional players, you master the ball and group tactics and team tactics are well understood. When the coach says we want to play quickly from the number 6 to the number 10, the players know they have to play through the middle. And now the championship is the goal. A few weeks ago I coached a team in Essen, a team in a recreational league. Two players on that team came to me and said, we have to win the title this year. It doesn't matter at what level they play, they want challenges, they want to win. And that is completely fine, it is a typically German virtue. I've spent a lot of time in other countries, there the German virtues are thought to be the will to win, fight until the last minute. But it is equally important to be able to read the game. Now you have to be aware of space, get the pace right, master the ball and the opponent, see the other goal. Now it's a matter of putting everything together, what you've been taught, and how to apply your knowledge. Graphics and animations in this video were made with Easy Sports Graphics and Easy Animation, used by over 40,000 coaches worldwide. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. New soccer videos every Tuesday and Thursday.